morning. Good morning. Good morning. All right. <laughs> you know, at one of my churches, we sent some uh, some of our youth to the state youth camp, and they had a very energetic speaker there, Ron Clymer. And, and Ron had uh, not really grown up in church, and he was sort of a wild guy. And uh, Ron would <laughs> Ron didn't know that there were certain phrases you were supposed to say. And so when he was in church, somebody, some preacher said, and all God's people said, and Ron said, all right! <laughs> and our youth came back from camp because he had taught them that. And uh, after that, all the time, people would say, all right! <laughs> Which is sort of what amen means. <laughs> all right. I am not tall. We are uh, experiencing a little bit of vacationitis here. So Tom is substituting for Nathaniel Reed, and he's up there in the highest heavens, or at least in the, yeah, with the video. <laughs> and so I am uh, taking his part today. A few quick announcements. Hope you got a bulletin when you came in, and you are going to faithfully read it. Uh, some things to highlight in that. We have a summer fun time coming on June 30th. June 30th. When is June 30th? Well, that would be next week, right? So mark this down. We're going to have youth night in the evening at 6 p.m. The youth are going to be doing some things to lead us in worship. And then we also are afterwards going to have an all-church summer festival type time. Fellowship. So we need for you to bring some food. And there's a sign-up sheet in the foyer. Is that right? Okay. A foyer if you're not real you know, educated. Out there in the vestibule. Anyway, so you can sign up after the service this morning for what you're going to bring. We'll have a good time. You know, I love it when our youth have the service. It is just great to see God working in their lives. It, it, it's great to, to get to celebrate with them. And we're going to get to have some fellowship afterwards. So sign up for that. Wednesday night, our uh, family ministry and discipleship night uh, continues to roll along and you know what we need some more help we need somebody to to uh, work with our children and uh, you can contact uh, Sharon uh, my Sharon Sharon Squires and Carol Osborne to let them know that you are available and they would be loved uh, they would love to help you get in a position to serve working with our children on Wednesday nights uh, speaking of Wednesday nights we will have an independent celebration on two weeks away, on July 3rd. So we won't have a regular discipleship night that night. We will, though, have a celebration night, and we're going to have a potluck. Nobody said, nobody said, all right! All right! There you go. Okay. Yeah, we're getting worried about you folks here. You know, you have a pulse. I was going to start coming around checking. All right. Yeah, well, praise God, manna from heaven. Oh, okay. All right. <laughs> so we will have that celebration. I, I understand the church is providing the meat, but you'll be asked to bring other things. Is that? Is that easy? Huh? Okay, well, you're actually reading the bulletin, and I'm reading these sparse little notes that we're doing. Okay. What would you like to say about this? <laughs> Uh, oh, and by the way, in case you haven't figured it out, Pastor Rick is on vacation. We have a lot of people on vacation. And Pastor Rick and Emmy are on vacation. They should be returning probably sometime this evening. And he'll be back in the swing of things this week. I pray that they've had a refreshing time. And they'll come back restored and, and raring to go. Having been blessed by their time away. Let's go to the Lord in prayer. Father, we take a moment just to be still and to know that you are God. We thank you that you have called us to be your people. We thank you that you have given, them, given us the privilege of worship, that you've given us the privilege of a Sabbath time. We thank you that indeed the Sabbath was made for man and not man for the Sabbath. And now we pray that you would bless us as we lift up your holy name, as we have fellowship with one another. 
as we <coughs> sing your praises, as we hear your word. But Lord, most of all, we pray that in all these things, we don't just sit back and enjoy, but rather that we apply. That we would not just be hearers of the word, but that we would be doers also. Speak to us and motivate us and encourage us, Father, as we give this to you. In Jesus' name, amen. Thank you. 